I'm Sherry Black, and I bet y'all won't believe that I can make a cookie that is gluten-free with three ingredients that taste delicious. Well, I'm going to make it right now, and it is so good. So let's get started. So first of all, what you're going to need is two bananas, and go ahead and put, you want them, the riper they are, the sweeter they're going to taste. So the more ripe, the sweeter they're going to be. So what you're going to do, put two bit bananas in your bowl. And I use, you could use a fork, but I'm going to use a potato masher. And I'm going to mash these up. And I've got my oven heated at 350. And I'm going to mash these up and get them mashed up pretty good. Just mash them up really well. And I think the potato masher makes it a little bit quicker than just doing the, um, excuse me for the banging. Uh, I think that the potato masher does a lot better than just, you know, just smashing it with a fork. But you could do it with a fork. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a cup of oatmeal. And this this is uh, the one-minute quick oats. But you could use any type of oatmeal that you like. Um, you could use half and half, or like you could use one cup of the oats, or you could use the quick oats. So, I'm just using the quick oats, the one-minute oats. So, this is what you're going to do. You put it in your bowl. And I'm putting in a cup. And I'm going to use one and a half cups. So, I'm just kind of mixing this up. And, you know, you might need a little bit more. I'm not sure. I want to see how this is. So, I've got my half a cup. I've got one cup and a half. And I'm just going to stir this up. And these are gluten-free. So if you can't, and I'm telling you, if you don't have any sugar in the house or anything, no sugar, no flour, but you have bananas and you have some chocolate chips somewhere, then this is going to be the cookie for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the rest of this in there. Let's see. Let's mix this up really good. And it's looking pretty good. And the bananas is what holds this together. Um, but they are so good. Now, I, what I was going to say is you could add some um, chocolate chips, like a cup. You could do a half a cup. I'm just going to, right here, this is a third cup. So I'm using a third cup. I'm going to see how this looks. And I had these, I had these chocolate chips in a jar for a little while, but I made these the other day with these, uh, these um, Hershey Kiss, not Hershey Kisses, but the little semi-sweet chocolate chips, and this was delicious. And really, all you do is stir it up just like this. And then what I do is I go ahead and I scoop these out. I got, I have this little, uh, this is the big spoon scooper, but you don't really need oil. And I'm putting these on my pan and you just scoop them out. And I would make sure that I space them enough, not too close together. So if you can see, here, I'll, I've got my camera where you can see. And um, and you just scoop them out like, like this. And um, you're going to bake these. You're going to put these in the oven. And you're going to bake them at, on 350 for probably 10 minutes. I would check them in 7 and see how they're doing. And... Um, but anyway, what, like I said, I would space these out because, and I think this is enough chocolate chips for me because I don't, I don't need a, a lot of extra pounds. <laughs> but, 
But one thing about this, this is this is doesn't have nothing but natural sugar in it because it's the banana. So this is awesome for the people who cannot have gluten. If you want a quick, sweet something. And so there we go. And if you and if you want a little bit more, if you feel like they're not thick enough, you could add a little bit more oatmeal. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put these in the oven at 350, and I will see you back in about 10 minutes. Thank you. Hi, I'm back. And let me tell you, these look so good. And this is what you've got right here. I've just scooped them out and I have just put them on the plate. And oh my goodness, they look so good. So delicious, beautiful. Anyway, I think that you should try them. Now they, they bake and they'll get a little brown on the bottom and um, they, they are so good with coffee. Oh my goodness, so y'all need to try this recipe and um, you can put them in the refrigerator and keep them up for a few days and they should be just fine if they last that long. So anyway, thank you for tuning in to me and thank you so much and I hope that you'll like and comment and subscribe and I hope to see y'all soon again. Thank you and have a great day. God bless.